This is by far the greatest and hardest thing that our family is facing in the sense that we now have the report and now know that my sister's case was mishandled from the outset and had practices been followed, we would not be here today and maybe my sister might be back at home taking her son to school and living out. And living out her life as God intended it to be. But we will never know. And this is what breaks our hearts. We have met with our family to review the report to see what steps we're going to take moving forward. Getting some sound legal advice. Meeting with other families to offer support and maybe help them do what we just done here today. Because we have to come to realize that families, our family had to make things happen with what resources we have and the many supporters that have supported us all during supported us during all of this. And while we are fighting for justice for my sister Amber, Alyssa Tucker, we must not forget all the other beautiful mothers, grandmothers, aunties, friends that have gone missing and to this day that still have families that miss them every second. This I say to you from our family. We are here for you and we will do whatever we can to support you in finding answers to your questions. You're not alone. Never was and never will be moving forward. We cannot stress the importance that we are, we are all equal in the eyes of the Creator and we should be treated as such. If someone comes from a good family or a troubled family, they should, should still both be given the same respect and treatment when they walk through those doors to report their loved ones missing and not be told, oh, they must be out partying. They live a high-risk lifestyle. All too common, we face these stereotypes. But in closing, let me tell you this. When you go home tonight and be with your loved ones, stop and think and look, look around and look at them and think, what would I do if one of them went missing? And when you have an answer to that, to that question, you will then know where we are coming from and that we have come this far and we are not done and won't be done till we get justice for my baby sister Amber. Thank you.